Okay, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to see how the user or the end user, this, well, when we hear the word user, that means the person who is using our program, the person who is running our program. Um, we're going to see how they can interact with our program so they can input data. Um, so I'm going to write a real simple program uh, that um, it's going to look like this, basically. So when I run the program, I want it to say, uh, please enter your age. OK, so let's say they enter uh, 15. Then it's going to say, you are 15 years old. OK, not very exciting, <laughs> but it's a start. What, it, the purpose of this video is just to see how we get uh, data inputted by the person running the program. Uh, and then, you know, later in later videos, we'll do something much more interesting than just printing back their age. Um, by the way, in computing, this is called an echo statement. So an echo is when you're, you're basically just repeating back something that they entered, just confirming their input. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we need to add something um, called a scanner. Um, and a scanner is a built-in Java uh, command. Um, it's, a, it's actually called an object uh, type. And it allows us to um, receive input, whether that's numbers or characters or uh, a string of characters or an array of characters. Um, and uh, so anyway, we're going to use this built-in Java object type uh, to allow for user input. Uh, we'll talk more about the scanner class a little bit later when we, when we uh, discuss objects and variables. Okay, so we have to put this as our first line in the main method. Scanner scan equals new scanner, and then in parentheses we're going to put system.in. Okay, now if I compile, it's going to crash, and it basically says, hey, I, I can't find this scanner command. Um, so we need to add something called an import statement. And this is a line of code that we put before the class header. Import java.util.scanner, semicolon. Okay. So basically, um, this will tell the compiler where the scanner class is saved. It's actually saved inside a folder called Java, and then a subfolder called util. That stands for utilities. And then we're going to access the scanner class. So now when I compile uh, all is well, and it recognizes the, uh, the scanner uh, class. Um, OK, so now I am going to print this message here. Please enter your age. So this is called a prompt. A prompt is like a question. You're, you're asking the user for something. Prompts are very important because it, uh, it makes the program user friendly so that they know exactly what to do. Um, age. Uh, OK. Uh, all right. So now, how do I let them enter a number? Well, we need to do two things here. We first need a little space to store that data. Uh, so we can do that with something called a variable. And we're going to explain variables in a lot more detail um, in the next couple videos. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to say int age. So what this command does is in your computer's main memory in your computer's RAM, there's going to be a little storage space, like a little box that's created. And this this means that it's going to store integers. So that little box we're creating is going to be able to store integers or numbers without decimal points. And then this thing here is just the name of the variable. So I'm going to call it age. You can actually call it whatever you want. You could call it x, you could call it i, you could call it donkey, you could call it whatever you want. But I'm going to call it age because that's appropriate for, for the input that we're receiving. OK, and then I'm going to put the equal sign. This is called the assignment operator. So basically, this means um, if, if you want to put something into that variable, then you need the equal sign. So for instance, I could say you know 7, semicolon. And this will, this will put the number 7 inside this little box. This little, it's, called, it's called a variable. Um, now, I don't want to put 7 in there. I don't, want, I don't want the number 7 to always be stored in here. So I'm going to put scan, that's this thing that I created up here, dot next int. 
Okay, so this is really cool. What this will do, so when the program is running, when it gets to this line, it's going to pause and it's going to wait for the user to enter any number, any integer. And then when they press enter, that value will be placed inside here, inside H. Okay, so if I say um, system.out.println uh, age, what this does is it, it will print the value stored inside this variable. Okay, let me just run it and, and show you. Uh, so if I compile and run, okay, so it says please enter your age, that's what this code was here, and then I'm going to enter 15, and when I press enter, the number 15 is going to be stored inside RAM, inside this little variable called age, and then I'm going to be printing that variable age. So I'll press enter, and then it just echoes the value that I um, uh, that I entered. Okay, so a couple uh, changes we need to make here. Change number one, I want to put this input at the end of the line, kind of kind of like what I did in this example here. Okay, so let's do that first. So what uh, all I have to do is change this print line just take off the LN and if you recall from a previous video uh, that means print this message but then don't go to a new line okay so watch this I'll compile run it and there we go it's right at the the end okay actually I might want to put a little space in there um, Oh, you can't actually close the program um, because it's waiting for input. You can force it by going options uh, close. So you can force it to close. But if you do that, you need to uh, right click on this little bar here and reset the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine. Okay. Um, all right, let's go over here. I'm going to add a little space. Okay, so it'll make it look a tiny bit better. Okay, please enter your age, and then I'm going to put 15. Good, so this looks exactly like my example up here. And then when I press enter, uh, it, it is now printing the value of my variable age, which is 15. So I want to add a little message here. I, I want to say, you are 15 years old. So what's really cool here is you can put a string, you are, and then stop the string and then you can put a little plus sign here and then you can put another string at the end years old okay so this right here is called string joining or string concatenation um, let me put a little comment here uh, the plus sign is used for string concatenation. So that's a fancy word for just joining pieces of strings together. So this little string here is going to be printed and then we're going to concatenate this variable. Okay, so remember this variable is a little box in RAM and it, and it contains uh, a number. What number? Well, I don't know. It's, what, it's whatever they enter here. Okay, and then I'm going to concatenate this string at the end. So if I run it one more time, I can put in a different number like 21 and then it says you are 21 years old okay so this number that they're entering 21 that gets stored inside this little variable we can't see it it's inside our it's inside the computer's RAM um, and it's a little storage space used to store data and then we can recall that information later um, in the program okay um, so uh, I'll just do one more thing here just to further illustrate what a variable is. Um, so I'm going to add one more line here. So if I say this, if I say age in double quotes and I compile and run it, okay, so it says please enter your age. That's the first thing. So let's say uh, 13. So when I press enter, uh, two things are going to happen. It's going to say you are 13 years old because of this command here. Um, and then it's printing literally the word age because I have that in double quotes. Okay, But if I take away the double quotes, what it does is, is the compiler now knows that this is a variable and it's going to print the value stored in that variable. So one last time here, I'll compile and run it and put 12. 
Okay, so it says you are 12 years old, and then it says uh, 12. All right, so there's there's a difference between writing this and with double quotes around it. So if you put double quotes around it, it's going to turn it into green, and, and that means it's literally going to print the word age, literally as it is. But by removing the quotes, we are now telling the compiler to print the the contents of this variable, this little box in RAM, we want to print whatever is stored inside of it. Okay, so what is stored inside of it? It's whatever they the user chooses to enter here. All right, hope that's okay. Uh, if you have troubles with this, um, come and uh, talk to me. There will be other videos uh, explaining variables in more detail, um, and uh, and we'll get to those shortly. Okay, thanks for watching.